There you go. Somebody said, <laughs> give her a kiss. <laughs> so we've done it. Thanks, darling. That's our first on-screen kiss. And probably the last. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> now, we have been married how many years? How many, um, 30 how many years. mirrors did I break? 30 what? years in 30 July. Years. 30 years in July, yes. And somebody celebrates their 60th birthday in a week's time. Well, it's not me, because I'm older than you. You're my toy boy. <laughs> yeah, we're at uh, Knoll Hall Wharf. Still. Yeah, we've been here for a while, actually. Um, we've two sort of, weeks, we've two sort weeks of caught up with the vlogs. I think what you've been watching has been about two weeks behind. Um, so we're now all caught up, effectively. We're just enjoying the countryside at the moment while we're here and whilst we're having the boat looked at. I'll explain more about that later. But in the meantime, first of all, a big thumbs up to all of you new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony, this is Jan. Hi. We've been married for 30 years. We sold our house, we bought a boat, we now live on it full time. Um, it's got, broken. <laughs> it's broken. Well, no, it's not no. broken. The generator doesn't generate anything. The engine's fine, it's all been serviced. Please see previous vlog. And um, yeah, we're enjoying it. And it's nice to have some sunshine because. Some what? Sunshine. Sheen sheen. I'm not even <laughs> had a glass of red wine yet. My goodness. It's nice to have some sheen sheen. Behave. <laughs> got my teeth fixed, now my mouth doesn't work. Anyway. It's nice to have some sunshine after what you would have seen last, which is hail, rain. Goodness knows what the hell that was we had coming up the Hatton Fly. That was, but awful. It was terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we are enjoying the delights of Knoll and the surrounding countryside. Originally, Knoll Locks were a series of six narrow locks built and opened in 1799. They drop 42 feet in total in a short distance and form a marked feature of the landscape. During the 1930s Grand Union Canal improvements, one lock was removed and the remaining five were modernised into wide locks to accommodate 100 foot barges. The former smaller locks were retained to ensure that the canal stayed open for business during the construction work and then afterwards converted to overflow channels to the east of the new larger locks. Large economizer ponds were also built to the west of the new locks from which water was drawn when the locks were filling, thus cutting the amount of water used by about half. The two lock cottages still exist, although top lock cottage is a 1960s replacement. There used to be a steam pumping station with a tall chimney which was demolished in 1933. There were several wharves on this section of the canal, mostly handling coal and lime at the time. Two still survive, Knoll Hall Wharf and Copped Heath. And for boaters going up towards Birmingham, Knoll locks are the last set of wide locks on this section of the Grand Union Canal. So here we are at Knoll, on the top of the locks. The wharf is just after the top lock and as you know we're here to get the generator sorted out 
Um, Ian Taylor, who runs the place now, and was responsible for building quite a lot of the Stephen Goldsborough boats when he was based here during the time. Um, Ian has now taken over the business and runs a very successful wharf here. Um, still does up boats and still looks after the Goldsborough fleet from time to time when they pop in, like us. Uh, he has diagnosed it after a fairly comprehensive set of tests um, as being the AVR, which is the voltage control unit or regulator, I think it's called. Um, that part isn't available in this country and it has to be sourced from overseas. So it's going to take a few days for it to get here and then for it to be installed and a few of the electrics just to be fiddled around with just to be compliant with everything else. Um, so we thought rather than tootle off and go around and then come back again we thought we might as well enjoy the comforts of being here plugged into the mains with water and everything else on tap literally um, and enjoy the countryside come out to Warwick. We've got our eldest daughter with us and she's brought us out for the day. Isn't that nice? And she's going to buy us food and drink and everything. Because <laughs> it's her dad's birthday soon. Are you enjoying yourself on the boat, Sean? Yes, and we've only moved three inches. Why have we only moved three inches? <laughs> We're still waiting for a bloody part. <laughs> and what part are we waiting for? Jenny. <laughs> We're still waiting. It'll be three weeks Monday, Monday. and we were hoping that um, Sean coming onto the boat we could move a bit but um, <laughs> the party's on its way um, but she's going on Monday but we, we shall be having a little barbecue along the way <laughs> for <Yeah>. somebody's birthday. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Perfect. We're going to fight over the Thank prawns. you. Smells incredible. It'd be cold. Oh, that's a lot of. And what have you had, Sean? Oh, I'm just gone boring with me eggs Benedict. It's not boring. <laughs> it's compared to that. That looks amazing. You can pop that egg. Oh no, that's not so. <laughs> she just. She I've just said, eggs on the brain. Pop that egg. <laughs> can you pop it? It's a giant mozzarella ball. Oh, it's because I'm not eating. Jetties, they're called jetties, them bit that stick out. This bit here is called a jetty. It's a way of getting extra room in your bedroom. walk through Warwick's historic part on the edge of the uh, castle. Lots of houses with jetties, that's the bit that sticks out, gives you a bit of extra room. I'm not, but look. What am I looking at?
Bull. Ah, pen. Bull pen. What did you think it was? I know where escape rooms are. I don't need to go in an escape room. I have trouble getting off the boat anyway. <laughs> you know how I like a good food shop? There's some local beers here. And for you cider lovers, there's some ciders. Oh, which one am I? Uh, Mr. Rugged or Mr. Smooth? Oh, maybe I'm Mr. Perfect. Or Mr. Manly. How many butters have we got? Oh. Two on each. Another day, another lunch. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant like that you bought it. No, Shani bought this one. Did you? Oh, I did, yeah, because it was cheaper than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that, Sean. Yeah, well done, thank you. <laughs> like 17 quid. Icky. Yum, yum. Mummy, what have you done this morning? Is this a cheese one? Well, um, yeah. Do you want to chuck me on? Yes, please. I went to get a dress. Sorry, what? you went to get a dress for Well, here? I went to get an outfit for her wedding in October. And I've been putting it off and putting it off. And we went to Coventry. I wasn't too impressed with the shops there, but of course, there's no top shop Wallace or anything. They've all gone online. And there was only, uh, Marks and Spencers wasn't too hot. So we went to Next and I bought something. She chose it. <laughs> Which will be revealed in we, October. We joint chose it. Or I'll be going naked. Do you want cheese on top? Yes, please. Do you want to keep this little jar? No. Oh, okay. Which was like a, a meal deal thing, but they couldn't do it with a cold drink, so I just had to get them separately. Alright. Mm. It's me sort of Well, that was a mixed bag, wasn't it? And um, it's been great to see our eldest daughter again. Yeah. And um, thank you, Sean, for taking us out and looking after your two parents who are nearly OAPs. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. Thank I've you got very a much. I've got a few years yet. <laughs> thank you very much, Shy. I do have a birthday. Have I mentioned that at all by any oh, chance? Oh, we know. Mm. Sixty tomorrow. Yes, yes. We we might <laughs> we might vlog some of it. I don't know. It depends how much red wine is consumed. Um, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for putting up with us this far in the vlog. Um, like I say, lots to see, wasn't there? Yeah, Quite you know, good. It's to... lovely being here, actually, because, um, you know, if you moor up anywhere near Hatton or in Warwick, you've got all of these lovely places. If you haven't got a car, um, there's plenty of public transport that will take you to all of these places. Yeah. Um, lots to see, lots to do. As usual, if you've enjoyed the vlog, then a thumbs up for a like. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, uh, then please click the subscribe button. It is free. And also click the notifications bell. Ding! Thank you very much, girls. That was stereo bed. It was, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> we have a, an eldest daughter sitting over here somewhere. That away. Yes. Um, <laughs> and YouTube will notify you next time we upload a vlog. If you'd like to see more of us, pardon me, maybe not, or if you'd like some extra benefits, that's probably the better way, isn't it? If you want to see some extra content behind the scenes, or you want your name up in lights, well, in the credits, um, and be one of our supporters, please join us on Patreon. Links below, down in the description, and there's probably one on screen at the moment. 
in the meantime happy cruising stay safe everybody bye for now bye Easy grin. <laughs> 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 hey! <laughs> <laughs>